The process to having an eco-friendly rooftop starts with collecting a lot of sand. It must be river sand without any particles. We must get fine sand. Even after this, we save it as we shall see. Many plastics have also got to be collected to be mixed with the sand. Plastics themselves are not degradable. They don't rot, they don't. They keep on polluting the environment. If you could see some of, some of these animals eat these things and they end up dying, they, they soil itself. If you, have, if you go to the villages, by the way, I'm a farmer, it's also disappointing. Sometimes you go to the garden and you find the caveira has just stayed there for so many years, but it's covered with soil and has covered everything. And if you picked it out from there, you will not find water going through. The plastics should be made up of what is called high-density polymer. When you hit high-density polymers, on cooling they become harder. Now, when they become hard, you have to raise them to higher temperatures than what heat them in order for them to melt. So, no effect by the environment. These plastics are used plastics. They come from jerry cans, basins, uh, radios, car bumpers, computer cases. They are shredded before being mixed with the sand. To make a soluble tile, it has got to go through the sand dryer where all the moisture in the sand is gotten rid of. After drying, it is sieved so as to get rid of very small and big particles that can easily allow pockets of air or pores in the finished tile. Because once this one is bonded and it's a strong thing, then you cannot easily break it. Uh, this machine is a mixer. We have more sand in the tile than the plastics. Because plastics are to act as a bonding agent just to hold the sand together. It is then wheeled off to the paste maker, which at high temperatures ensures that the tile is fire and heat resistant. If you melted this under a low temperature, that means even the sunshine and sun would affect it at the end. Minimal heat that will go is because of that sun, because of the sun. So if you don't need the insulation, you don't need a ceiling, unless you want the ceiling just for purposes of beauty. It comes out as a paste, heated sand mixed with plastic. Production ends with this molding machine. In about two minutes, it is ready. When it cools after about two minutes, it is taken for trimming. We have a two uh, kilogram, 2.2 kilogram tile. Very hard. And they're said to be good water harvesters. Being non-water absorbents, the risk of dew, algae and fungus is almost eliminated, and this ensures clear water. The fact that they are bigger means that less wood will be used while putting up the roof, thus saving the trees in the environment. Plastics are fire retardants. They are not good conductors of heat, and this is advantageous as it doesn't allow heat to go through them. During the whole process, however, there is waste that is generated. Now, if this paste takes more than five minutes here, it is going to become as hard as this, which is called a reject, just like these peelings of the final product. But does it mean that this is waste that is going back to the environment? No, it is all recycled from within, and the process begins again. This shredding machine breaks them into small pieces. We bring scrap from out, but we don't take anything out. The only thing we take out are the stones and few things that we have got from the natural environment. The eco-friendly resin tiles or sand and plastic tiles have been under taste in Uganda for three years now after getting the concept from South Africa. To see whether it can fade, whether it can be affected by the sun, whether anything and so on. Somebody inside there will not feel the heat, heat that goes through it. Many plastic bottle houses or buildings are getting constructed world over in countries like Taiwan, Serbia, Nigeria, where whole plastic bottles, including tops, are used. 
Some have become innovative, using bottles to support beds. The beauty about plastic is that it can always get recycled to prevent it from being an environmental hazard. So, houses constructed with plastic can be recycled when the owners have had enough of them. Waste can indeed become something revolutionary in the building industry when put to good use. Florence Salimba, NTV, Ecotook. Thank <laughs> you.